Dear listeners, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I wish to bring to you the analysis of the poem Boy on a Swing. Boy on a Swing, the poem written by a South African poet, Oswald Mbuiseni Mchari. And before the actual reading of this poem, I wish to briefly bring to you the biography of the poet. Who is Oswald Mbuiseni Mtishar? Oswald Mbuiseni Mtishar was born on 17th of January 1940 in Kwabanya, South Africa. He is a poet whose works have been commended within and outside Africa. He writes both in Zulu and the English language. Well, before proceeding, I wish to read through the poem verse by verse, stanza by stanza. And thereafter, we shall be having the crit critical analysis of this particular poem. Here the poem reads, Slowly he moves to and fro, to and fro, then faster and faster. He swishes up and down. His blue shirt Billows in the breeze like a tattered kete. The word worries by. East becomes west, north turns to south. The four cardinal points meet in his head. Mother, where did I come from? When will I wear long trousers? Why was my mother jailed? Well, this poem briefly presents the subject matter of racial discrimination or what is briefly referred to apartheid police in South Africa. The boy, the poem Boy on a Swing by Oswald Mbuiseni Mtishar was set during the apartheid period in South Africa. And the poem covers the brutality of the apartheid system as it has been told before. This poem also Highlights the fight for independence by the black natives. During the apartheid period, the blacks had little on right over governmental policies. The period when this poem was written emphatically presents a time when racial discrimination was at its peak and the blacks were segregated from the whites. So that is to say this poem laments over racial segregation. A lot of active activists in South Africa were pressed into confinement because of their protest and struggle for a racial free society. Oswald Mbuiseni Mtishar being among them. Listeners, as far as this poem is concerned, the disadvantageous system of the white minority government of the period 
led many black Africans to work under a harsh and unfavorable condition. Any other for the purpose of earning a living. During the period of the apartheid, governmental policies were enjoyed by few blacks, of whom can be regarded as the minority. Let us share the general concept of this poem, the critical analysis of this poem, and the general idea of this poem from stanza one to the last stanza. The poem, Boy on a Swing, starts by describing a very young and lonely boy playing on a swing as he moves to and fro. He is still young and unconscious of the happenings around him. He has knowledge about the apartheid period, that is to say, the boy presented in this poem is aware of the reality around him. But remember, this boy has been used by the poet to represent the majority people of the lower class, especially the black, the blacks for the Africans in South Africa who were segregated during this their period, a difficult time for them. The boy is captured playing on a swing while his father is in jail due to probably his protest against the white apartheid system. And this is an indicator of injustice. The boy's father was captured and imprisoned due to protest against the white apartheid system. The poor black boy who is painted in a blue shirt like a tattered kete worries less about his status in the society. He cares less about the oppression faced by the blacks. Listeners, at line, at line four, as the boy swings faster and faster, he begins to experience a dramatic change. He is now matured and also aware of the happenings around him. That is to say, the boy is conscious of the realities around him. There is a shift from a start, the state of ignorance to a state of self-consciousness. The thoughts worrying by and meets in his head makes him to start asking his mother different questions. The four cardinal points which meet, meet in his head represents the gathering of different ethnic groups in South Africa, which was meant to struggle for the trans transformation of black people in South Africa. So the phrase, the four cardinal point has been used to symbolize the gathering of different ethnic groups in South Africa which was meant to struggle for the transformation of black people in South Africa. The lonely boy begins to ask his mother several questions. That is to say, the boy is so curious. Where did I come from? Where will I, when will I wear long trousers? That is the great disappointment too a boy because life situation to them seems to be unfair and unpromising. These questions are due to the boy's movement from a state of ignorance to that of consciousness. Listeners, the final line signifies that the boy is now full matured. 
is now fully matured and wants to know the reason why his father was captured and put into jail. He is now in contrast with the whites' injustice and the oppression towards the blacks. Finally, the poem captures the robotized South African people who experience a transformation from a state of lack of awareness to that of political consciousness. Listeners, we are going to be guided with some guiding, guiding questions as far as the analysis of this poem is concerned. To list them, the first question asks, what is the poem all about? The second question, what type of the poem is this? Give reasons for your answer. Comment on the imagery as it has been used in this poem. What are the possible themes in this poem? What is the tone of the poet? How is the poem relevant to your society? Explain with the examples from the poem. Dear listeners, let us head on with attempting the aforementioned questions as we move further regarding understanding this poem. Well, the poem is all about an African citizen, specifically a boy. Remember, a boy is representing South African citizens who are suffering from racial discrimination. A boy swinging in this poem stands for an African citizen and a swing stands for an African country. specifically South Africa, that has been portrayed in this poem. To me, this very country was moved from, south, from side to side as far as racial discrimination is concerned. It is about oppression, insecurity, humiliation, and poverty. People who are highly cons concerned with the aforementioned lifestyles or aforementioned problems are blacks in South Africa. A boy or a citizen is protesting towards those problems. The words like swish, whereas, whereas stand, stand for free movement in contrast to be in jail. as the boy presented in this poem. Therefore, the boy representing citizens wants to be free from those oppressors like freedom struggle during apartheid system in South Africa. Therefore, the issues in the poem relates to the period of apartheid system in South Africa, where Africans were segregated based on their racial basis. Notably, in the last stanza, the boy says, Mother, why was my father jailed? Shows This shows that insecurity takes place because people are imprisoned without fear trials. When will I wear long trousers? This shows that the boy representing citizens wants to grow up to be liberal and fights against such an oppressive system. What type of the, of the poem is this? The type of the poem is narrative. The, the story is narrating about the sufferings experienced by a boy representing citizens in this civil society. It has employed narration technique to convey the desired message to the audience. 
It is just someone telling a story about a boy swinging. The form of a poem is a free verse because there are no regular rhymes and the, the number of lines in stanzas is not similar. The length of verses seems to be any a varying appearance. But, rather, but also this qualifies for the number of syllables to vary from verse to verse. So beyond truth beyond any reasonable doubt, this is an open form, a free verse, or to call a modern poem. Another question it demands to comment on the imagery as it has been used in this poem. Well, what is imagery? Imagery refers to the use of words or phrases that produces a picture in the reader's minds for reading or listening. The poem consists of imagery and symbolism, as exemplified below. The first image and a, a symbol is a boy. A boy has been used to symbolize a citizen in an African country, and, and the country portrayed in this poem is South Africa. A swing has been used to symbolize an African country, that is, uh, any African country that suffers from uh, the white imperialism. Another symbol is movement on swinging. Movement on swinging has been used to symbolize the events or things taking place in the country, for instance, poverty, political instability, security and the like. Another symbol is the boy's question. The boy's question as we find some rhetorical questions in this poem. Questions like, Mother, where did I come from? When will I wear long trousers? Why was my mother, why was my father jailed? These questions have been used um, to symbolize or to give an image of the country's development on one hand. On the other hand, such questions have, have been used to, uh, to symbolize disappointment or the loss of hope of the oppressed class. Another symbol in this poem is the blue shirt. It qualifies also to be termed as an image the blue shirt, which is tattered in this poem, symbolizes poverty. Additionally, the swing, the swing has been used to represent the world or the uncertainty of life. Well. Before proceeding with the possible themes that we obtain from this poem, may I present to you some other figures of speech apart from symbolism and imagery that can be extracted from this poem. The first figure of speech is scenery. Scenery is a figure of speech that compares two unlike things by using projections. Same is evident in this poem as the poet says, his blue shirt billows in the breeze like a tattered curtain. Another figure speech used is um, personification. Personification has also been used in this poem when the poet says, the word was by. 
the word was by. Another figure of speech that can be extracted from this poem is um, understatement. The poem in this poem has been portrayed in a way that that diminishes his quality as the manifestation of unfairness in the society because the marginalized class seems to be diminished. Some possible musical devices can be identified in this poem to begin with alteration. Alteration is evident in, in stanza number one when the poet states to and fro, to and fro. Reading carefully through this through this verse, readers can identify the repetition of the constant sound. Yeah, in some words, fro, fro. That is what is referred to as alteration because the constant sound has been repeated in a lie. Another evidence as far as alteration is concerned is the verse first, the, then faster and faster. The constant sound has been repeated in some words faster and faster. Well, another musical device you see here is assonance. In stanza number one, when the persona says then faster and faster, the vowel sound R can be identified from this verse. It has been repeated in the same verse, faster and faster. Repetition can also be noticed in stanza one. Words like first have been repeated mainly to emphasize the intended message. Listeners, let us continue with thematic thematic analysis. What are the possible themes that can be um, identified in this poem? Bear in your mind that the Dominant theme, the central theme, is racial discrimination or apartheid police. On top of that, we can get some other minor themes that can make the main theme move ahead. The first thing is consciousness. The boy seems to be conscious of the realities around him, especially oppressive nature of the system in his society. This is surveyed by the questions in the last stanza. The boy says, he asks this very question, why was my father jailed? When will I wear long trousers to show that the boy is conscious? He is aware of injustice and his country's de development. Another possible theme in this poem is poverty. Poor living, living condition has been uh, portrayed in this poem. The second stanza reveals poverty. As the persona states, His blue shirt billows in the breeze like a tattered kete. His blue shirt is in a tattered situation. To me, it is not in a, uh, a decent situation. It is in a poor, poor appearance. So that is the vindication of poor living condition. Facing the boy represent the majority marginalized class. Another theme is classes. We have the, the class of oppressors and the oppressed in this poem. 
The poet shows that there are classes to a particular society. That is, there is the oppressor and the oppressed class. The persona or boy belongs to the lower class. He is someone who suffers from racial discrimination. Another possible thing to be identified here is uh, oppression and injustice. The poem reveals oppression and injustice in which there is oppressor and the oppressed class. The use of rhetorical questions like why was my father jailed is used to show that the that people are jailed with no reasons that no reasons at all in a particular search is an indicator of injustice. Well, what is the tone of the poet? The voice quiet of the poet, the persona can be regarded as sad, unhappy, and angry because the boy is in confusion about his country's development. The boy suffers from racial discrimination, there is insecurity everywhere, and this results into disappointment or disillusionment for the boy. See, says some issues in a, a pessimistic view or from the pessimistic point of view. Is this poem relevant to our society? Well, the poem is quite relevant in, in our contemporary society because it has some relevant issues like poverty, insecurity, classes, and also people's consciousness. The issue of racial discrimination has been very common, especially in South Africa, where the black people are marginalized. marginalized. They are seg segregated from the uh, majority white people in South Africa. This should be discouraged because it is the source of uh, laws of, of hope and liberation of human rights that may result into insecurity due to struggle for rights. Today, injustice exists because some people are jailed with no reasons at all. The upper class are above the law. Poverty exists in our society. A good number of people live for experience a miserable, miserable life or situations and this has been a source of disappointment, backwardness, loss of hope. And this has been one of the burning issues to be addressed. Thank you very much for listening to me throughout the presentation or the analysis of this poem, Boy on a Swing, the poem written by Mbuiseni Oswad Mutshar. Thank you.